Facebook family and welcome back to my channel. I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed, all my new subscribers. Thank you so, so much. Thank you to everyone that's following me. I have some, something, I have something, I have something that I am so excited about today. Mochi. Mochi. For those of you who do not know, mochi is Japanese rice cake. Sweetened Japanese rice cake. And I have strawberry. So I'll read uh, some of the ingredients to you guys. Um, actually, I got this off of Amazon not sponsored I just really wanted to try mochi so I'm doing a little I guess a review um slash mukbang I'm gonna try to eat as many as I can um disclaimer do not eat more than your body allows you to eat okay so I'm gonna eat as many as I can and I'm gonna give my honest review and opinion on this particular uh, mochi. So, it says, fruits, rice cake, strawberry taste. Ichigo daifuku. Okay, ingredients include maltose, sugar, rice powder, starch syrup, reduced starch syrup, shortening, palm, cornstarch, gelatin, strawberry sauce, Ooh, I wonder if there's sauce in the middle. <gasps> Ooh. Mmm. Okay. Sauce. Condensed milk protein. Trailose. Processed starch. Um. Oh, emulsifier. Glycerin. Fatty acid. Ester. Artificial color is... Cochineal and red number three. I have no idea what that is. I'm gonna look that up. Okay. Um, artificial flavor of strawberry. Mm. Thickener is pectin, locust bean gum, citric acid, and contains soybean in part of the materials. There's soybean in the materials. I wonder if they mean the packaging materials or the materials that they use to make this stuff. Hmm. All right, well, I'm excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. <sighs> oh, I'm so excited. If I can get it open. <gasps> oh no, it's sticking. Oh, this is going to be sticky. Okay. There we go. That's the front of the package. And then that's the back. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's all the nutritional facts and everything. Ingredients. Okay, so I like how the packaging is just like simple. There's like a few words and the flavor picture. That's it. I like that. 
and you can see what's inside. No guessing, okay? I'm so excited. You guys, I... <laughs> I've wanted, I've been wanting to try this for years. Like I watched the YouTube videos of Mochi and I was like, I want to know what that is. And you know, I didn't know where I could get it. And the only place that I could get it is at a, um, a grocery store that is literally 30 minutes away. I ain't got time for that. So Amazon it was. Okay. So I'm gonna try it, you guys. Are you ready? Oh my gosh. It's so soft and squishy. Oh my God, it's like a... What does this remind me of? It's so soft and squishy. It doesn't really smell like anything. There's like a faint smell, like an artificial faint smell in the bag, but it doesn't smell like strawberry. I don't know. Oh my God, it's so squishy, it's like a pillow. Okay, <laughs> here I go. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a filling inside. And I don't know. I don't know if I. <laughs> okay my honest honest opinion um it's not much flavor it's really it's not a whole lot of flavor there's like there's this like white marshmallow E like thing. Let's see. Yeah, there's like this. Whoop, this marshmallow in the middle, which I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. And then the cream itself, like the middle cream. Okay, very, 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 very artificial flavor. Hmm. I'm gonna taste this outer part and see what that tastes like by itself. I don't think I can eat a lot of this. It's kind of sticky. Ooh. 
Now this part, the outer, outer part, kind of tastes like, I mean, I'm sorry, kind of smells like straw, more strawberry. Tastes like nothing. Maybe my kids would like these. But I don't I don't really think I'm a fan. I can see there is um I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a little strawberry seed there. And as I'm Continuing to touch it, it is very, very starting to get sticky. Well, it's something that you can't sit and play with, <clears throat> you know, with your hands. It kind of reminds me of like if. Gushers fruit candy and marshmallows had a baby. This will be it. Like I hope I'm not offending anybody, but this is not something. It's just so soft and squishy. Like little pillows. Little pillows. I don't know. Um I don't know if this is for me, y'all. I do, um, <clears throat> I do want to try different flavors. Um, I was supposed to order a different packet, but I ended up ordering two of these by mistake. It was supposed to have a couple different flavors. I think it was supposed to have taro, black bean, And some other flavors I can't remember I think it was like four altogether but um I will be trying different flavors maybe um I'll go through a, a you know a different company to get these these weren't that bad they're not super duper sweet um I mean it's a pretty pink color I actually like this color I wish it was on my nails um but it's okay. This is something I would give my kids to trick them when they're like, I want candy. I want something sweet. Boom. There you go. Have a mochi, baby. Um, yeah, because, well, there's 21 grams of sugar. Is that a one? doesn't taste very sweet but I mean if it's a marshmallow then I it's probably about right 21 grams of sugar yeah amount per service is one is 86 calories 86.1 calories this is not a light snack well all eight of these wouldn't be a light snack. So I think two is okay. Um, yeah. 2.6 milligrams of sodium. 21 grams of carb. Ah, allergy information contains milk and soybeans. So those of you that have dairy allergies, which includes myself, so I should not be eating this. Um, or any soy allergies, please. Do not eat this. Make sure you read all nutrition facts and instructions first before consuming. 
But yeah, that's just my opinion on this brand of Japanese rice cake. If you have any suggestions of any rice cakes that you want me to try or anything you think that I would like, um, I don't mind trying new things. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. Yeah. So with that, that is my review. And I'll give it a, I'll give it a thumbs up because it is a light snack. It's not, not anything too, too bad. Um, this will probably be my go-to snack when I just want something really light and sweet, but I don't want a lot of sweets. I'll grab like one of these and be satisfied. Um, but I can see my kids eating the whole pack in one sitting. Don't do that. <clears throat> but yeah, so with that, you guys, that is my review. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and definitely hit that subscribe button. And see ya.